point assessments encompass a lot of tests including strength, flexibility, balance, proprioception and we're also looking at history of injury, any current injuries they have at the moment, foot structure and any asymmetries between the two sides of the bodies. So it's quite comprehensive. There's actually 10 to 12 times the body weight on the feet and toes when the dancer is on point. So they need to have adequate strength and flexibility to maintain that position. Podiatry is the study of the feet and the lower limb and so we're well placed to conduct these assessments. There is an increased risk of injury with going on point too soon and particularly to the small bones in the feet which can be compromised by too much pressure. The growth plates can be damaged irreparably. One of the benefits that we have here at CSSM is that we give each student her own individual video comprising exercises that she needs to concentrate on. So here we can see that the pelvis is neutral, the knee is straight, extending to the full height on each rise, the foot and ankle are in a neutral position and the toes are remaining straight and not curling. We have a whole range of professionals here, so we're able to refer between the disciplines and we can work together to get the best results for each dancer. We also encourage open discussion between the professionals and the dance teachers to get the best results for each individual.